Thank you, Patrick. And we are continuing to follow the fuel spill that happened on Pine Street in Reading yesterday that spilled almost 4,000 gallons of fuel onto the streets that, from this tanker that was holding about 7,500 gallons of fuel. Our reporter Ryan Caney shows us the latest on what's happening there at Sacramento River. Behind me, you can see crews from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife working to clean what you see here. This brown and rainbow colored fuel sitting on top of the Sacramento River. The fuel made its way into a storm drain leading here to Calaboose Creek and eventually the Sacramento River. The Department of Fish and Wildlife told me that about 40 to 50 fish died because of the fuel, including some protected species of native steelhead fish. Today, crews are working to recover as much fuel as possible by pressure washing, absorbing, and removing fuel from the crash site to the mouth of the river. After today, uh, the hope is that we'll have it cleaned up well enough that Calaboose Creek will no longer be contaminated to a point that will adversely affect any wildlife, is the goal for today. The Department of Fish and Wildlife told me the fuel will eventually evaporate, but the sooner they can get it out of the river, the better it is for the environment's long-term health. We're hoping that if we attack this response with a lot of resources right off the bat, we can mitigate anything happening in the long term. We don't anticipate any long-term impacts uh, as a result of the release. Some roadways like Park Marina Drive behind me will remain closed until the cleanup is over, but the Department of Fish and Wildlife hope they can reopen these areas over the next few days. In Reading, Ryan Caney, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. And Shasta County Health and Human Services are urging people to take precautions in the affected waterways, asking people to avoid swimming, fishing, and drinking from the river south of the Cypress Bridge.